Hi, it's Mark. About a week ago, I read a news article, the Healthcare News, that reported that since 2010, 83 rural hospitals in the U.S. have closed. On the one hand, shows the pressure hospitals are under to survive in a world in which cases are moving out of them. It demonstrates the fragility of exclusive contracts for hospital-based services at Lowe's hospitals, at many hospitals. And it's a sad fact for the employees of those facilities and the the office practice physicians who centered their practices around you know, the, the world of those facilities. But at the same time, and especially in connection with rural hospitals, it presents an opportunity, 83 opportunities or maybe some multiple of that, uh, for the formation of physician owned surgery centers and other outpatient facilities either in the physical location previously occupied by that hospital in terms of a one large facility or even probably more likely the condoization, the ASC condoization of those facilities in order to preserve uh, medical services for the community and to create uh, a profit-making venture, uh, pro- profit-making venture uh, for physicians. So if you're a physician in a rural community or a physician in a city with rural communities within a moderate drive, look at the opportunities that exist, uh, not only presently, but in the event of a facility closure.